I got it again. So today's video is gonna be about you gotta work for it. You have to work for it. All the goals you're trying to achieve, or the business you wanna build, or for the type of body you want, you gotta achieve it. And anytime you may, there'll be times you may fall. There'll be times you, you won't stumble, but it's all up to you. And you choose the fact to keep on going or just to stay down and just be like, oh, I can't go no further. Oh, this, oh, that, oh, they, I can't because I don't want to leave my friends. But no, you got to go to extra mile. mile. You have to, you must. You got to go, you got to go into that dark void. But you got to come out full of light for kindness, for love. And that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm telling y'all. Come out with positivity, not so much negativity, because it's too much. It's like, I'm not mad for too much. It's way too much of it as it is right now in this world. Too much stuff going on. And the only way to get by day, day by day, is just to keep your focus on your goals and to focus on yourself and to trust yourself and God, and then keep up in working, because in due time, your goals and all that progress and everything that you put in, all the work you want putting in, will come to life. And the Lord will bless you for it, because you have you have work to it, because you have also prayed for it and working for it. Because it's like this: you ask the Lord, you pray to the Lord. Say, oh Lord, can I almost I wanna just just like whatever you try to try to achieve, ask for it, and then you go read the Bible to understand what did he say, which side note, that's a good way to understand if the Lord is speaking to you or if some or if some other type of spirit trying to get you off track. But that's what I was saying. says no, then it's for the most good reason. If he says wait, then that means the thing that you're asking for, he's going to double it or triple it. So basically, it's going to be an abundant, an abundant amount of more than what you are getting. Even though at the time of being as, as of right now that you ask for it, you won't understand it, but you still can do trust and faith in the Lord. Keep on pushing forward. You keep on working hard for it too. Cause you can't just pray for it and then go home and then eat and then be a, a couch potato and playing the game all day or watching TV all day or drinking all day. That ain't gonna get you nowhere. It's just staying in the same exact spot when you're over wondering like this. Just, just dead, dead in the spirit. Just dead in, in, in the physical. Personally, I don't want that to be anybody. Because anytime I make a video about anything, I'm doing it for the Lord and for the people. So the people can get can understand the Lord and go and get close to them who are to know him already. But it's also for me too, because it's just something that's just I just choose to do because I realize that, oh, like I'm just I really like I got a lot of skills and stuff, so I'm just seeing what people on YouTube are gonna say about it. Or what the world will say about it. But as soon as I start reading the Bible more often, that the world is gonna want me, not just me, but you also, and just people around you to do worldly things, fleshy things. That's why in the Bible, it says, stay in the, stay in the flip, don't be in the flesh, stay in the fullest, I mean, in the spirit. You gotta kill the flesh, literally, where it's by fasting from food, water, um, drinking, or, but for you, please don't, don't let me drink at all. I don't recommend it at all. Whether it's from lots of corn or just being 
lazy. You have to give up. And that's the same thing that's also in connection with achieving your goals. You cannot be lazy. You have to be disciplined. You have to have motivation no matter what. There are no excuses at all whatsoever. If you say you want to wake up at this certain time, then you need to and then you're not used to it, then work your way through it. And take baby steps. Because when you take baby steps, you are literally adjusting and adapting to the situation that you are in right now, that you're currently in. Like say, let's say for instance, you want to go at five o'clock in the morning, right? You wake up at five o'clock in the morning, but you don't feel like getting up, though, but you're awake. Your body wants you to do what you tell you, or that voice in your head, was telling you, oh, to go to sleep, or go right back to sleep, and everything be alright tomorrow. You can't achieve your goals, you can't do this, you can't do that. But no, nah, literally, just wake up and get up. Literally, with no hesitation. You know, no matter how hard it is. Now I know sometimes I'm having on days too. Hey, I ain't like I'm not perfect and stuff. I be having on days where I'm oversleeping. I be like looking at like, like 10 o'clock in the morning while I'm supposed to be looking at like five. achieve my goals still no excuses do the best and what you gotta do be better every day every single second no every single pico second that means in the instant make better decisions be better and of course if you fail learn from that learn from that lesson if you lost learn from that loss Take that loss as a lesson, then take that lesson as a win. And also, I want to thank everybody on this that just been subscribed to my channel and have been supporting me all the way through. I mean, literally, as I can remember now, is that 1,400 or 300, 300 something. I don't, I don't remember. But I very appreciate it from all of you. No bad, because I don't care about you. Or should I say, y'all, because it's a community out here. And this is lifestyle. That me and you and all of us are trying to live. Or should I say, doing to live. But that's all I gotta say. Y'all stay blessed. Stay in the Bible. Peace.